Good morning. So this morning we've come up to Harrington Airfield. It's a place where if you, you may have seen my, my vlogs uh, end of last year when I was chasing the Red Wings around and the field fairs. And this is actually where I came up to in the end and actually found quite a few um, and managed to, after a pretty epic journey of several series, actually managed to film the, uh, the Red Wing and field fairs. Uh, it's a pretty cold place at the best of times around here. The wind blows pretty strong across here. Um, I mean, in the week we were having temperatures of 20 degrees, which was, you know, absolutely beautiful. It's, it, within a few days, we're now down to like zeros, twos, threes, and I've come out this morning, and as I say, it's a cold place at the best times, but it's snowing this morning. So it's, you know, it's the beginning of April, we're into the spring, but it's snowing. Not unheard of in the UK, um, but not what we expect after having 20 degrees uh, just a few days ago. So it's going to be a pretty cold one, I think, this morning. Um, so we're going to see how we go. It's fairly exposed because it is an old airfield. It's an old, I think, World War II airfield. Um, there's some old bunkers and things, um, I think, that were built for nuclear purposes, you know, um, around or after the war or whatever. Uh, so there's a lot of history to it. You can, you can look it up on the internet, look up Harrington Airfield on the internet, and you'll see all the history to it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a walk around and just see what we can see. I can hear, and you can probably hear it, there's a chiff chaff, I think it is, up in the tree somewhere. Can't see it, but I can hear it. Light's not great at the moment, but it is supposed to get brighter. It's not supposed to get any warmer, but it is supposed to get brighter. So let's go have a walk and see what we can find. So the first uh, piece to camera we did in this uh, wooded area, you can see here, as you just walk through from the car where you can park the car. So it's reasonably sheltered in there, but as you can see, you know, as soon as you come out into here, this is the old airfield over here, and you can see it's pretty exposed. You know, the wind howls across here at the moment. And we're just gonna walk up this concrete track uh, and that takes us up to, you can't quite see them probably in this video, in this, uh, in this image, but somewhere up here uh, are the bunkers. I can just about see them here. There's, um, I think there's three, three separate bunkers um, that are old concrete, uh, like blast bunkers. So there's normally some wildlife up around that area, and there's quite a lot of trees up that area as well, so we can have a look. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty exposed. So this is where we're walking up now. We're starting to get close to the bunkers. Can you see these concrete bunkers? And uh, pretty well a good, good haven for wildlife, really. So there's quite a, let's say, there's, I think there's three of these bunkers. 
uh, around here and, and various other small buildings as well. So hopefully we can find a bit of wildlife in there. Quite a lot of small birds normally around here. A um, uh, lot of um, yellow hammers uh, and other small bits and pieces. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can find something and bring you some images. Danger around here because it's so open. Sometimes you might not find anything. You know, you might not get close enough to get a shot of anything. But we'll see how it goes. See what we can find. So as you can see, the place has just been really left to rewild itself. So here are the big concrete bunkers that we could see from a distance earlier. And there's, I think there's three of these. And this is what was the old, I guess the loading ramps and the runways and the network of, of the airfield really. But it's, uh, it's quite a vast place as I say and that can be one of the problems is, is trying to find things in here it can be quite difficult. But uh, we got a little chaffinch earlier. So that was a start. But yeah, we're just going to have a little, rather than walk now, just have a little uh, relax in certain areas and just see what we can find now. can hear lots of little birds around, so... Uh, and at least the snow stopped now. I mean, the weathermen said that it was going to brighten up today. I had my doubts a little while ago because uh, the snow just came down with force really um, but yeah brightening up now so I think it's gonna clear up I'm gonna get a bit of decent light because the light wasn't very good for photography first thing so uh, let's hope we can get something now I don't know if you can pick up the bird sound between the wind and with the, the microphone stuffed down inside my clothes so uh, so it doesn't get disturbed too much but uh, just have a listen to that and see if you can hear anything Hopefully you can pick up a bit of that, but let's go and see what we can find. So I'm just hiding uh, beside an old, <coughs> it's an old trailer, I guess, a farmer's trailer that's uh, wrecked. Um, just hiding behind here. And in front of us we've got a, um, a bush that's full of uh, full of blossom so we've got a few little bits and pieces dropping down there some of them i'm not really sure what they are uh, there's one little bird looks like a little warbler of some sort so um, if i don't identify it and if you know what it is then just you know drop it in the comments below would be great for me um, but yeah quite a bit of activity things coming and going um, some chaff inches. I think we had a yellow hammer as well. I'm not sure if we captured that or not, but uh, it was a bit quick. Um, but yeah, quite a few bits around. So uh, I'm just going to sit here, hunkered down. Thought there's a whole flock of something just coming in. So I'm just going to turn off the vlogging camera and uh, and see what we can get.
Well, that's about it for me from Harrington. I mean, what a difference you know, a few hours makes. I turned up in blizzards, snowstorms, freezing cold. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still cold, but the sun's out, we've got blue skies. Absolutely, totally different to when we arrived this morning. And it is one of those sort of places, the weather just blows across you know, pretty rapidly. Although, they did, to be honest, they did forecast this today. Um, but yeah, we've seen quite a few little bits and pieces. Um, hopefully you can see some of the video and the, some of the stills. A lot of yellow hammers around. Uh, if you can identify the warbler, which I think was a warbler I saw, then please, you know, I'd be happy for you to uh, put that in the comments for me. That I'd pretty appreciate that. You guys know I'm not great at identifying the birds. I like to take the pictures. I like to bring you me out and about. But I'm no expert. Um, and I certainly don't profess to be. So whatever you're doing, have a great day. You know, if you like the video, please do click a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Uh, and if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you want to see any more, that is. If you don't, then don't bother subscribing. But uh, yeah, have a great day and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.